hello friends welcome back to my channel today let us discuss why do we have silent letters in any language especially in English language see many of the times we come across words which have silent letters in them and it really irritates us because we often mispronounce them and and feel insulted so why do we have silent letters in a language see words with silent letters are mostly borrowed from another language means the words that have silent letters in them are mostly borrowed but here is a question why is it that borrowed words have silent letters in them this is the question which we are going to address in this uh, lecture. What is a word? A word is the combination of speech sounds that is phonemes of a particular language. If we will talk about English language, uh, we see the word plan, skill, train. These words are the combination of sounds the word plan is the combination of p, l, a and na, n sound and skill is the combination of s, k and vowel is sound and l, l the same way train is the combination of t sound, r sound and vowel a sound and n sound train so all words in any language or the combination of sounds it means every language has some peculiarities they have their unique rules which makes them different from other language so when we borrow a word from one language to another obviously the borrowed word with its unique sound pattern of donor language will not be able to fit the rules of the sound pattern of the recipient language means that the borrowed words have a unique sound pattern but the words of recipient language have a different pattern so the borrowed word will look very odd I mean it will be very difficult to pronounce for this reason the linguists come up with the process of nativization means what they do to do away with this difficulty linguists nativize the word by nativization we mean it is a process by which a foreign word is made compatible with the rules of recipient language and this sometimes leads to the devising of sound letters of the words which break the established sound pattern of a language it means which we devoice the sounds or letters of the borrowed word which break the phonological rule of a language for example we have example here we can see examples here examples are taken from the English language English sound pattern these are the sound patterns that are uh, allowed in English language we have some examples here and we have some silent letters means those combination of uh, sounds and letters which are not allowed that is why they have been devoiced for example, we have this sound pattern P and R sound, P and L sound, P and H sound. This sound pattern is allowed in English language. We have examples here process, plan, phone. These are the sound patterns which are allowed in, Eng in English language. But look at this sound pattern P and N. This sound pattern is not allowed in English language. That's why we have this word pneumonia. Here, per sound is silent because this sound pattern is not allowed. So we have dropped this sound, per sound, and we pronounce it as pneumonia from no. In the same way, we have another set of sound patterns here. 
kuru sound pattern and kulu. This sound pattern you can you can see in English language we have words like crates and kloof. But kernel sound pattern is not allowed in English. That's why we have this knife and no. In these words, curse sound is silent. Because this combination of sounds is not allowed in English language. And when we borrow any word with this sound pattern, we have to devise one of the sounds so that it fits in the phonology or, or the sound pattern of English language. In the same way, we have some basic examples here. Like here, the silent B, B sound. This MB combination is not allowed in English language, means it is not in the phonological pattern, the sound pattern of English language. That is why we have devoiced the B sound. In the same way, you can see here in T sound and in K sound. Once again, H sound, in K sound, and this W sound. These were some basic examples. There are many other reasons, of course. If you want to know in detail which sound pattern is allowed in English language, you can comment below and I am going to upload a video on that also. The consonant clusters and all other sound patterns of English language will be detailed discussed in that. So this was all about why do we have silent letters in any language, especially in English language.